let's go ahead and go and place a corridor. That's kind of the last major kind of element you might create in there. All right, so in this file, I'm just going to place a simple corridor. Again, we're going to illustrate all these concepts that we've talked about. I'm in a blank file right now. There's nothing but references in here. I'm going to create my corridor in the 2D portion here because really all I'm doing for a corridor is picking horizontal geometry and then I'm telling it what profile to use. Let's just put one here on this ramp. I'm going to use the active profile. There, that's good. And yes, I'm okay with that template. Let's just start it here and end it here. Okay. So you notice I did all this work in the 2D file, and that's because all I'm really identifying is the 2D horizontal there. And it puts a lot of design kind of artifacts in the file here. It's putting the decorators and manipulators for the corridor. If we click on those, those are construction class elements, and those are going to sit here in the 2D design model. And, you know, if I put point controls, I'm going to get more of those kind of handles here in the file. Uh, but it is managing the 3D for us. So if, when I go to view control, view 2D and 3D, it has created the, the 3D for us. I see now that I don't have slopes on that. So I'm just going to set that terrain active. And then we will reprocess that corridor. And it'll draw the full uh, 3D for us. Okay. So i got two more things I want to talk about real quick. One is a concept that you'll hear us talk about called non-indexed models. An example of that is, there's two examples. There's profile models and the cross-section, dynamic cross-section views. And so let's go and just going to do element selection and let's pick this mainline alignment here and let's open up a profile model. Let's put it in view three. Okay, so one thing you'll often hear us discuss is the concept of non-indexed models. And that's what this attached long section, this is called attached long section because we're referencing in this geometry to this file. So this doesn't actually exist in this uh, DGN file, it's attached. Um, but we do have a model here and uh, we call it a non-indexed model because when I go and I look in my list of models, I'm not going to see the profile views for all of the geometry that I have. So we're not indexing it. We're not listing it as available models. But they are in our file here, and they're available for us to do what we do in other models, and that's draw stuff in it. This one's attached, so I can't edit it. You know, reference attachment rules still apply. But if I was working in this DGN and I was going to go in and draw profiles in it as a child, basically that horizontal. So it's basically storing those graphic profiles, you know, as a model does with any graphics that we store. it. So this is a model. It's a linear model along the alignment. So that's why it's kind of specific to open road. You won't find that in MicroStation. Um, we can do other things. We can attach the 3D views to that. Let's just say grab the 3D cut for everything there. So I see where my surfaces are crossing over that. I see my 3D of representation of my corridor. So now that uh, resides in this model. Um, so when we talk about non-indexed models, it's really treating these profile views as if they are a model. It's now going to store these 3D cuts now. It's going to store any uh, profiles that I draw in here, any graphics that I draw in here, it's going to store them. And when I go to cut profile sheets, it's going to show me what is in this model. It's actually going to attach this model to it. So that's kind of the concept of non-indexed models. It is a model like everything else. It's just not listed in the list. It has to be fully managed by the ORD code, right? And the other one is just similar to that is the dynamic cross-section views for the corridors. So let's just do that for this corridor. And we'll switch this view over to that model view. And we have our cut in here. And we can show some temporary dimension lines. We can do some kind of drawing. We can show cells for our points and that kind of stuff in this model. But this is another, again, it's a model, but it's not indexed, right? And that's uh, when you hear us talk about that concept, now you know 
uh, why that's a little bit of a different case than a normal uh, drawing model there. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.